Hello everyone. In this video, we will understand the criteria for selecting a suitable cable for our project. We have to consider two main things when selecting a cable. First, the type of the cable, and second is the size of the cable. Let's start with the type of the cable. But first, let's have an idea about the difference between a wire and a cable. Wire is always of a single conductor, which could be copper or aluminum, and it could be of a solid type or stranded type and protected by an insulation layer. So if we have a look here at this picture, we can figure out that the wire has two layers. The first is the conductor, which could be solid or stranded for more flexibility. And the second layer is the insulation layer, and it will be a PVC always. We mainly use the wire for connecting branch circuits that does not consume high loads like sockets, lights, air conditioners, water heaters, and other low load appliances. On the other hand, a cable is a group of two or more insulated conductors used for transmission of electrical power. These two pictures show how a cable looks like. It has more complex construction than a wire, as we will see in details shortly. These cables are commonly used between transformers, main and sub-distribution boards, and also for higher loads equipment. So in comparison with a wire, a cable has more protective layers and are used for higher loads. Now let's know more about voltage ratings of a cable. We have here three categories of voltage ratings. The first category is low voltage cables, which can withstand up to 1.2 kilovolts. The second category is medium voltage cables, which can withstand 3 kilovolts to 30 kilovolts. And lastly is the high voltage cables, which can withstand 66 kilovolts to 500 kilovolts. But in the meantime, we will focus on the first category, which is for low voltage cables. Now, where are low voltage cables installed? If we have a look here at this transformer picture, we can figure out that there is a primary side over here that carries the medium voltage or high voltage cables. And we have also a secondary terminals here, which carries the low voltage side. As you can see, these terminals are four terminals indicating three lines, L1, L2, L3, and the neutral, which is also grounded to earth. So according to this, we can use four core cable, which indicates three lines, one, two, three, and a neutral for three phase system. Also, we can use two core cables, one line, for example, this line, and the neutral to connect a one phase system. So what are the layers of the cable or the construction of a cable? We have here five layers that includes conductor, insulation, bedding, armoring, and auto ship. Also, we have here a top view of the cable that shows how these layers are constructed together for the cable. So let's start defining each layer. First layer is the conductor layer. It's a material that conducts electricity in the cable. It could be of a single core or it could be multi-core. So what are the types of these materials? We have two types, copper and aluminum. Each one of these materials has its own properties. So copper has a reddish brown color while aluminum has silver white color. Copper has lower resistivity and higher connectivity while aluminum has higher resistivity and lower connectivity. And what does this mean? It means that if you have a load of 60 amps and I decided to select a copper cable, so I will select a size of 16 millimeter square. On the other hand, if I want to select an aluminum cable, so I will have to upgrade the size of the aluminum cable to 25 mm squared to be able to withstand the 60 amps load. So the equivalence between the aluminum cable and the copper cable will be copper of 16 millimeter squared and aluminum will be 25 millimeter squared. And that is because copper has lower resistivity. And the third property here is that copper more expensive than the aluminum, while aluminum is cheaper in cost. Now this picture show how the color is different from the aluminum to the copper. So aluminum has a silver white color, 
while copper has a reddish brown color. The second layer of the cable is the insulation layer. It's a non-conductive material that separates the conductive material within a cable from other conductive materials. This means that the insulation insulates or protects each conductor from touching the other conductor. So we have two types of insulation. We have first the XLPE or the cross-linked polyvinyl, and we have the PVC, which is the polyvinyl chloride material. So what is the difference between these two? Actually, XLPE can withstand much more temperature than the PVC. It can withstand a temperature of 90 degrees Celsius under normal condition, 160 degrees Celsius during overload, and 250 degrees Celsius during short circuits. However, PVC cannot withstand this much of temperature, and it can just withstand a maximum of 70 degrees Celsius temperature. We have the third layer, which is the bedding layer. It's just a protective boundary between the inner and outer layer of the cable. It's always of a PVC type, and its main aim is to protect the insulation of the cable from the armor. Fourth layer is the armor layer. It's a steel or aluminum armor, which provides mechanical protection to allow the cable to withstand mechanical stresses to which it is exposed. We mainly use the armored cables for outdoors, so we can prevent any mechanical stresses from damaging the cable. So we have two widely uh, known types of armor. The first is a steel wire armor, or it could be indicated as SWA. And we have the steel tape armor, or the STA. The difference is not much. Steel wire armor is more preferred because while pulling the cable, there is no risk of dislocating the strands, while steel tape armor cable has a risk of dislocating the armor when pulling the cable. Finally, we have the outer shape of the cable. It is the external layer of the cable. So it's always of a PVC type, it's not XLPE, and this is because PVC can withstand erosion more than XLPE. So how can we define the type of the cable or a wire indicating its layers? Low voltage cable has five layers, as we have seen before, and to write these layers, we have to have this slash between each layer. So if we look at this example, we will see that this cable is of a conductor, copper conductor type, slash XLPE insulation, slash steel wire armor, and slash the PVC outer sheath. So this is how we can write or indicate the type of a cable. For the wire, it's just two layers, so we can indicate first the conductor or the type of the conductor slash the type of the outer layer, which is the PVC as usual. Now let's have a quick look at one of the cable catalogs to explore different types of cables. Let's open this catalog. So this catalog belongs to Doha Cables, or this brand. I have chosen this randomly. You can check other brands' catalogs, which will also contain similar types of cables, but maybe with a slight difference in the specification. But at the end, they serve the same purpose. Now let's just scroll down to low voltage cables and explore different types of cables. So the sections over here, as you can see in the beginning of this catalog, shows many tables which contains a variety of cable informations for, for example, the rating factors, short circuits, and also it shows voltage drop. So we can use this information while calculating the size of the cable. So for the moment, we are just trying to figure out or exploring more types of cables. So this section here shows overhead conductors which we don't really care about for the moment. So let's find the low voltage category section. All right, starting from this page, all cables will be of low voltage cables. The first cable here is shown is a wire type. It's just a conductor and a PVC sheath. Also, this is a stranded conductor, copper conductor, and PVC sheath. Let's explore multi-core cables. 
Okay, so starting from here, we'll find multi-core cables. So at the first glance, we can tell that this cable is of a copper conductor, and that is because we have a reddish brown color for the conductor. But we can't tell what type of insulation is here because it does not have a sign or a clear sign like the conductor here. It has a clear color. But we can read the description here at the left side. It says that it's a copper conductor, PVC insulation, and PVC sheath and it's for low voltage cable so starting from this page we will find this number on top of each page and this indicates that this cable can withstand 600 voltage for one phase and 1000 voltage for phase to phase and this number in the bracket indicates that the maximum voltage this cable can withstand is 1.2 kilovolts so if the voltage exceeds this number this cable will not be able to withstand this amount of voltage and may be damaged so down here we will find a table which contains the specification of this cable depending on the cores or the number of the cores so each for example here we have two core cables and different sizes of cables for the two core and different current ampere or current ratings and here, for example, we have four core cable and different sizes of cables for different current ratings that are laid in ground or laid in ducts or in free air and other informations and specifications. So let's scroll down again and find different types. We can tell that this cable is an aluminum type because the color of the conductor is silver white and it's PVC insulated and PVC sheath. The same table will appear also down here, depending on the purpose, I can choose or select the suitable cable or cable size. But for now, we're just exploring types, so we will not go into details for this. This cable is steel tape armored and copper conductor and PVC insulated. So the more we scroll down, the more we find different options. So let's explore the XLPE insulation. Okay, this one is a copper conductor, XLPE insulated and PVC sheet, but it does not have an armoring layer. So if you scroll down again, we can find the armoring layer for this cable. For example, here it's a copper conductor, XLPE insulated, steel tape armored, and PVC sheath. If we scroll down again, we will find the steel wire armor as well. Here we can tell that these are strands, so this is steel wire armor, copper conductor, XLPE insulated, and PVC sheath. The more we explore, the more we find different cable type. Starting from here, this is the medium voltage cable, which we don't really care about right now. So this is all what we need to know about selecting a suitable type of a cable.